Hi guys, it's Ashley. Welcome back to Gotta Eat. Um, about a year ago, I saw this awesome video on Emmy Made. She was making Chinese bao, which is one of my favorite, favorite things when we were in China. So today we're going to give it a go. What you'll need is four cups of all-purpose flour, three quarters of a teaspoon of yeast, and 500 mils of water. Okay, to make our dough, we're going to mix the yeast into the flour, just with a spoon. And then I'm gonna add the water. I'm not gonna add all of it, we'll add it as we go along. About half, give it a good mix. You wanna add the water until it forms a nice dough, but it's not too wet. when it starts coming together you can use your very clean hands. Okay, it might be a good idea to roll up your sleeves so that they don't get in your dough mix. I'm going to knead this together until a nice dough forms. <laughs> when it all starts to come together we can tip it onto our board and give it a proper knead. Okay, it's probably a good idea to have a little bit of flour to flour your board so that your dough doesn't stick to it. <laughs> go. Not too much, we don't want to dry the dough out. Give it a good knead. And flour your hands too if you need to. It needs to be kneaded. Yeah, you want to knead it for about five minutes until it gets nice and elastic. So much kneading. Once your doughs come together well and it's nicely kneaded, we can put it in a bowl to rise for about two hours until it doubles in size. I'm just going to wash my hands. Yeah. I'm going to oil the bowl so the dough doesn't stick to it. Just a little bit of olive oil. Spread it around. And then put your dough in the bowl, cover it with a tea towel. You need to leave it in quite a warm place otherwise the yeast is not going to let the dough rise. Okay. Okay, for the filling we'll need 450 grams of pork mince. 450 grams of minced cabbage, one carrot, also finely diced, two to three spring onions sliced, one egg, two teaspoons of ground ginger, one teaspoon of olive oil, half a teaspoon of chicken stock, one teaspoon of oyster sauce, or I'm using soy sauce, and some salt and pepper to season. While you're waiting for your dough to rise, you can fry up half of the pork, let that cool, add it to your mixing bowl, and then add in the rest of the ingredients and mix it all together. The raw pork mince, cabbage, carrots, chopped spring onions, chicken stock, soy sauce, oil, and the ginger. Give it a quick mix. Need a bigger bowl. And then add the egg to combine it. when it's all nicely mixed together? No. No. When everything's well combined, you can set it aside while you wait for your dough to rise. See you in a bit. Okay, it's been about two hours. Our dough has doubled in size and we're now ready to roll it and make our bao. So let's get some flour on our chopping board just so that the dough doesn't stick. I'm just gonna use half the dough because we're limited to space here. So what you wanna do is Get your dough, make a hole in the middle, and form it into a ring. Let gravity take its course. And then we just want to roll it so that it's nice and even. Excuse the motorcycles in the back, very show-offy. What we're gonna do is cut it in half. And we're going to cut it into about five centimeter pieces. Okay, now for the hard part. We're going to form it into a little circle. Get a rolling pin and roll it. Try and get it as even as possible. And then what you want to do around the edge is make it a little bit thinner so that when you pleat it, it doesn't get all thick and stodgy on top. So let's do that. Just around the edges, leave the middle a little bit thicker. Okay, fingers crossed. Get your dough, let's take a spoonful of our filling, put it right in the middle, 
a bit too much. Then what you do is you pull one piece over and fold it. And you keep going all the way around. Traditionally, you would do 18 pleats. 18 is a lucky number in China, but just do as many as you can. Use your other thumb to push the dough in and twist as you go and twist it on top. Oh, it's not bad for a first attempt. Then I'm going to put it into my steamer basket. I've just lined this with some cabbage so that it doesn't stick to the steamer basket. Okay, I went ahead and made a few. I've put them into, a, into my steamer basket and now we're ready to get them steamed. I'm so excited. Okay, let's go. Okay, our bars are steaming. We're gonna steam them over boiling water for about 10 minutes, then take them off the water and let them rest for five minutes and then we're ready to eat. Can't wait. Okay, we've steamed the bar for 10 minutes. We've let them rest for five minutes. I'm so excited. Let's see what they look like. Ah! <laughs> they turned out so well. I'm so, so happy. Let's get them out onto a plate. Oh, that's a big chunky one. Oh, they look so good. Yay. Be careful, they're very, very hot. Oh, they look so good, I'm so excited. Hey, it's really hot, but I can't wait. Let's give it a taste. Mm. They are so good. Mm. Delicious. Those are really, really good. I highly, highly recommend you try them. They're not too difficult, the pleating's a little bit difficult, but you know, once you get the hang of it, it's really, really worth it. If you guys want to see Emmy's video, I'll link it down below. I'll also link the recipe, the original recipe, which by the way, comes from a Disney Pixar short film, which is really, really cute. So I recommend watching that as well. See you guys next time. Bye.